So CATL is the largest EV and energy storage battery manufacturer in the world. Um, so, so why is this a big deal? Why is this partnership a big deal? Yeah, it's China, man. You know, one day you're making batteries for cool new EVs. The next day your kid comes home with a little red book and a lot of funny thoughts about the merits of collective farming. <laughs> It's I, I, I joke, but like that's that's the fear here. It's just it's like this is there's this very widespread fear that like this is an American automaker, you know, quote unquote, getting into bed with, you know, a major geopolitical adversary. Um, and they're like hardcore China hawks uh, on both political parties. Like, let's let's be honest, uh, you know, like like. Joe Biden uh, definitely hit Chinese automakers with tough tariffs. And there, there are tons of Democrats who, you know, are ferociously protective of our industries and, and, and fearful of Chinese interference. So there's just a lot of political heat on anything China related right now. And that's making this project very difficult. For example, uh, this factory was originally supposed to be in Virginia, uh, but Virginia's governor nixed it. So it went to Michigan instead, and it's drawn a, a lot of controversy there as well. And at the beginning of this year, uh, CATL was added to a Pentagon blacklist because uh, the government says that they make military applications. CATL denies this. And uh, John Molinar, who is the, uh, the uh, U.S. representative, who is the chairman of the House Select Committee on China, I'm going to paraphrase this quote here, but he says, if local authorities and the Ford Motor Companies proceed with partnering with CATL, they risk supporting a company linked to the erosion of American manufacturing and the endangerment of the brave men and women who serve our country in the military, and as well as a company linked to ongoing genocide. Uh, so clearly not everybody's amped about this, this project. 